Hi everybody, how are we doing? Another thing which I've recently bought is the Action Cam 3 720p HD. Um, basically it's a bullet style camera um, which can be used for all types of sports. Um, so let's get down and talk about it. Um, filming resolution is a 720 of course, you can do it in 1280. Um, it does 30 frames per second. The video format is AVI. Um, it connects via the uh, USB and also charges that way. Uh, you get up to two and a half hours working time. Uh, the charging time, if you use all that, is three hours. And the, the weight, I'd say it's about 64 grams, because it tells me in the back of the box. Um, it's, it's actually waterproof as well. Um, Although it says weatherproof, inside inside it does say waterproof. Um, it's built-in microphone, built-in battery. Um, that's probably one of the downsides. Uh, shock resistant. Um, also has time and date watermark, which I have not ha got to work yet. Um, same as the USB cable which was sent with it was broken. So, what did I get inside the box? Well, I did get a big strap which I cannot find. Uh, basically it is just to put around your head or your helmet. I uh, also got two velcro strips, sticky back strips. Here's one, the other one is on the side of my helmet. Like so. Um, you also get an SV case. Uh, the camera itself and this thing here, a uh, velcro, another velcro thing, which you put the camera into. Uh, which holds it, I'd say, pretty securely, but thankfully it comes with a lan lanyard uh, which you can just uh, put through your helmet strap and gives you peace of mind that uh, if it does come off, it's going to stay there. So basically, um, to turn it on, I hope the lights will see this, you hold it for four seconds and it comes on, there you go, you can see by the lights. And that's it. If you leave it, it's got an automatic turn off, which is a good thing. But at the same time, it's also not so good. Uh, to start recording, you just push once, blue light starts flashing, and that's it recording. Hello. To stop recording, one simple push, hold another four seconds, and that's it off. If you record and you push uh, stop record, and you don't turn it off, it will turn off automatically. Um, so I've used it twice now, actually, the first time I used it, I actually used it in the rain, um, and it worked perfect, um, no water damage, uh, nothing. Um, I then used it today, which was sunny, uh, definitely got a bit of glare, but that's okay. Uh, living in Scotland, whatever sort of sun we get is perfect. Um, however, the, the lens isn't very good, uh, it's very tunnel vision. I'd say, um, come sort of fisheye type lens, but it's not a fisheye, but it's very tunnel vision. You're only going to see what's in front of you. Um, they could improve that, I think. The microphone um, needs something over the top of it, a bit of cell tape, people have said, I've noticed, and definitely, because all you really hear is uh, the wind. Um, so yeah, for what it's worth, uh, oh yeah, you, you also actually get an adapter, I don't even know where I've put that. Um, you get an adapter that goes onto your handlebars, straight through in the living room, never mind. Um, basically just looks like that, down there at the bottom, and the strap looks like that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, handlebars it'd make it bounce too much, I think. Uh, so, good fe features is that it's small and compact and very light. Uh, you notice it one, maybe a few times in your helmet, but then you get used to it. Um, unfortunately, I've got a floating helmet, which, <laughs> because of the design of the helmet, it means the weight of the camera actually tips it to one side, so I might need to change the position of it. Uh, small people would think it's a torch, people wouldn't notice it. Um, it's good during daily hours, but uh, not so much during the evening or uh, at night. Seeing that, I've not tried it in the evening yet. Uh, hopefully with the nights drawing in, uh, I'll be able to do that soon enough. Um, would I buy it again? Um, probably not. I would probably go for a, 
the, another version. Um, not a GoPro. They're very expensive. Um, maybe a contour. I've always looked at the contours. They look really nice um, and chunky and do really nice widescreen and 1080p um, HD for a good 3-4 hours. Um, so that would be my next one to get. In the meantime, um, this does the job. Uh, you know, for my first one, into it, I didn't want to spend loads because basically it's just going to be for when I'm cycling. Uh, saying that, I do cycle quite a lot. Um, is it worth seventy pounds? I think if they had a different lens in there, definitely. Uh, like I said, you'd probably be able to get it cheaper, maybe about fifty pounds out there um, on the internet. Anyway, I hope you like this review, uh, and if you get one. Have fun with it. Cheers.